Hey everyone, welcome back to the Dynamic Duo Podcast. Anya, good to see you again. Yeah, good to see you too. Ready to go today? Yes. All you right. too? Yes. Really, really excited. Last week, we spoke a, bit, a little bit about uh, challenges and strategies. You know, speaking of our own experience, how we go about facing challenges. But today, today we're going to start about habits, how we develop new habits that will support, that will, yeah, that will, that's the word, right? Support our growth strategy. can you tell us about habits, Anya? I think a few things that I learned about habits is one one thing is like do it daily. Um, if you want to start a new habit, then make it as simple as possible so you can do it daily. Mm. Um, because I think it's important that you start with some or that you really stay consistent mm. i mean that's how habits habits are um small things we do on a regular basis and so it's good to have them um in your daily routine and to integrate them into things that you already do but the most important thing for me is really to start as small as possible we talked about this last mm. week um, you you told your um, experience with learning German, mm. which was that you told that you said to yourself, "Well, okay, I'm gonna learn three words per day," mm. and I think that's that's really important with a lot of things or the, with most habits. In the past, I used to be overly motivated and thought okay i start with going to the gym for one and a half hours per day and um soon motivation dropped and <laughs> time got um tight so i stopped going at all right and once i learned about smaller habits it got easier for me to integrate a lot of things into my daily routines that are really small but I can do them daily and it's not like even if I don't have time or it feels like I don't have any time at all I can do them and that's what what I think is the most important thing that you start so small that you cannot not do it all right all right I mean, and for and just a reminder to our audience, that is this is part of what we do in, in our coaching uh, business as coaches and, and, and the, the services that we offer. So if you have interest in knowing more about it, just drop us a note. Our contact social media links are in the video description. So if you want to know more about it, just let us know. But yes, Anya, that, that's exactly, that's the... the the perfect, I think the perfect strategy because motivation is, um, motivation is important, of course, you know. And the, and the thing is that I think we get motivation wrong in many ways. We speak about motiv motivational speakers and motivational speech, uh, speeches or motivational books or motivational phrases and music or food i don't know motivational food you know where we all have comfort food right by the way i'm looking at it right now behind the behind the camera i have my comfort food waiting for me <laughs> after the podcast <laughs> but uh but the, the thing is that uh, motivation is very deceitful right first of all because no one can motivate us and that sounds weird it's you know i probably will get a lot of hate or some hate maybe, or some confusion for, from our viewers. The thing is that no one can motivate me if I'm not motivated. Or, or, or better said, if I'm not open 
to be motivated, mm -hmm. right? Because motivation really begins within, you know, uh, if, even with the small, the smallest part is just willing, the, the will to, to do something better, the willing to get better. If I don't have that, you know, you can forget it. You can bring the best motivational speaker, the best motivational books. And you can, you know, nothing will work. Why? Because you are not open, because you are not willing, right? So that that's just one little, you know, bubble burst for all of us. I mean, motivational begins, motivation work begins with thin, right? Mm -hmm. And then what you just said, it is very true. If we are overly motivated, that that's that could be uh, dangerous in that sense. You know, you you share your experience with us. You know, and how many of our viewers may have experienced something like that? You know, like yes, this is the, the year I'm going to lose these the uh, uh, love handles in English, right? The the love handles. I'm, this is the year, twenty pounds less or twenty kilos less. My right? twenty kilos. That's a lot. Well, it's doable. You can do it, right? But if without a, a smart strategy, and that's just our topic today, we will, you know, we could do some harm to ourselves mm -hmm. be, because of that eagerness and then that uh, not well thought strategy. But, but that's the trick, how to find that balance. What do you think, Anya? I think at first, I would say don't start with finding the balance, start with just doing it, just doing it, but doing it small, like. Mm -hmm. I, I, I have an yeah. example. Mm -hmm. if, if, if you want, if you want a very um, like a current example in my life, because I told you about yeah. two, two episodes ago that I was, uh, I changed my fitness routine. Mm -hmm. And um, and that's what I'm doing exactly, you know. And, and up till until now, you know, I have been faithful doing my my new fitness routine, but because it's right. new and uh, and challenging in in some new ways, I, I I'm taking like very small steps because because I don't want to I don't want to how to call that injure myself. Mm -hmm. Right, because if you injure, I mean that's just a fact of life. Sorry, people. If it's the older you get, the, the 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 careful you have to be. You have to be more careful about what you do and and and, and workloads and and periods and 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 all of that. You know your uh, resting time, your diet. You know it it has to be adjusted, right? And although I don't think I'm that old, it's not the same as it was 10 years ago. But, you know, taking into account those things, okay, take it easier, Mando, because otherwise your recovery period is going to take longer. You know, instead of two weeks, in my case, may, maybe three or four weeks. And that's too long if you really want to achieve something, right? Yeah. So like, if you cannot keep it up consistently, it could be it can be discouraging and and if you will in my case i'm doing some muscle training and things like that so uh, so it will everything goes down the drain so better easy steady slow but but consistent and that was a topic mm -hmm. about two weeks ago right consistency just just stay with it yeah. stay with it stay with it and that's what i'm doing you know you know very carefully measuring my uh, my loads uh, my sets, how many times per week, and then slowly readjusting my resting time in the evening. Yeah. And this also helps, or at least for me, it helps to, to be motivated and it boosts confidence that you can do it. When you do small steps, then um, you make this step and this step seems manageable mm -hmm. and then you stay with this one and then you do the next step and you have this small little wins all the time instead of this big negative thing when you hurt yourself or something like that 
which mm. um, throws you back. You have all these little wins that help you, um, first of all, stay motivated. And second of all, that boost your confidence that you can do more because you have this little win. I did it with this load. Okay, so the next step will be manageable too. And I think that's, those are all things that help you really stay consistent to go back to the topic of consistency because Mm -hmm. it's not one big step, but it's small manageable steps that you can do and you take care of yourself Mm -hmm. and you, yeah, think that's so important to not, or to think in the long term and the long run instead of just, I want this result now. Mm. And we're so used to having fast food, fast fashion, fast whatever. F- fast food mentality, right? Yeah. And that's that's not how most things work, mm. unfortunately. I mean, w- I'm... Wouldn't that be beautiful, right? <laughs> it would be. <laughs> I'm very impatient when it comes to seeing results. So yeah. I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> <laughs> two of us. We are two of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I know, I you know, when I, when I, when I doing my, my routine, you know, you know, going back to, to the, to the mirror, it's like, okay, flex it, you know, do you notice something? Is there any change? <laughs> okay. <laughs> A few more weeks, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, <laughs> but it's better to make small progress than to overdo it and then make no progress at all. Mm. So which I could which could be also no. damaging if you overdo it. I mean, yeah. if we use the analogy of sports, right? Uh, that could be applied to anything, relationships, business, and so on and so forth, right? If you overdo it and you're not careful, uh, then burnt out, for example. Yeah. I can think of that. Yeah. You know, people can exactly. get burnt out and then and, and they'll they will just throw the towel and meet it and you know, right in in the middle of it, whether mm-hmm. there is a relationship, um, uh, a new business venture, and so on, right? And yeah. then that's worse because because then you lose everything. Exactly. And also then recovery takes so much more time. Like with um, when you hurt yourself in sports or when you're burned out, once you cross that line, then you have to recover and you probably won't be able to do the same things again because your body will just remember what happened and it will just Mm. react faster next time. So really take care of yourself. Right. Underdo it and overdo it. Both of them. Yeah. Underdo it and overdo it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, Aranda, can you um, explain to us a little bit also the science behind starting small? What are the benefits of it other than what we already discussed? Well, there is something called uh, neuroplasticity. And, uh, and, you know, our viewers can Google it if you want to. But basically, you know, the name gives you already a, a little hint of what that means you know like like plastic like uh like um modeling dough i don't i think that's the name of it right i mean you can this type of dough that you can use it to model something right it's it's Mm -hmm. malleable it's uh, you can work with that and the brain is is like that basically um it's connected it's wired to believe some things and to do some things right Mm -hmm. In, in our brain, these synapses uh, that that we build are like streets or like rivers. If you if you can picture that in your mind in your head, you know when the water flows, it builds a road, right? It, it, the the it builds the way it, it will flow, right? Or or in the path in 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 the forest or in in the desert, if you use a road long enough you will make a dent, you will make a road. That's, and that's what, that's what happened in our brains. And when we repeat something often enough, 
that it will be part of your life. Whether there is a thought, for example, very easy, if we, if we think about limiting beliefs, oh, I'm stupid. You know, like, oh, what did I do? You know, if we, if we make a mistake, oh my God, how stupid, you know, how stupid. And, and or, or maybe even before facing a new challenge, right? Like, no, I don't know if I can't. Right, so we have those limiting beliefs. I don't know if I can't. I'm stupid, or 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 we compare ourselves, right? Oh no, she's she's beautiful. I'm not, I'm not as beautiful as as that person, or as strong, or as educated, or as mm -hmm. experienced, right? And mm -hmm. so we become our own enemies in that sense, yeah. right? And and. But on the same time, you know, if we think about things, routines and habits that you have, those habits are that as well, right? I mean, if you drink coffee at the same time, you know, there is a connection somehow, yeah. right? So if you, if you brush your teeth in the same way with the same brand, you know, connections in your brain. Why? If you, the way we talk, the phrases that we use. So mm -hmm. basically, we can hack that. Uh, like I said before, I mean, this is what 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 we do, Annie and I, uh, as coaches, we help you hack those things and to and to understand the way uh, our brains work and develop strategies, slow strategies, and and key. Is small steps, right? Because you cannot, you cannot change the course of a river from one day of another to, an, to another. Yeah. So that's the way it works. You have to like really okay. Wait, hold on. Let me open, make an opening here, so the the water can begin to flow in the other direction. So if you can picture that, that's the way our brain and our habits work as well. I love this picture. This makes it so easy to understand how this works this is i love it yeah the, the, the river uh, the water yes, the yeah. river or also the the way in the forest whatever you can picture better or understand better if you walk away all the time there will be a way one day and that's that's amazing that's it that's how it works that's why we are so how do you say that? We're so persistent on this mm -hmm. consistency topic and yeah. this habits topic to do it daily, to do it small, because once you have like the small, a small way or the river has like a little, the water has a, a little bit of space to flow there, then it can grow, then it can get bigger because there will be more water that comes through and the, the river will get bigger mm -hmm. and that's that's what we're that's what we're talking about exactly exactly i you know I, you just uh, made me think about another image it's like the the um, it's really like the drop on that stone mm -hmm. exactly i mean it can break through it just you, yeah. you just have to stay at it stay at it stay at it stay at it yeah yeah that's why it's important to to do it daily, to make it a habit, to integrate it into your routine and not just do it once in a while. Mm. Because once in a while will not have the same effect as daily. Mm. Exactly. Yeah. Mm. yeah. So I think we're already coming to an end. Is that so right? quick. When we when we when we speak about uh, interesting topics, it, 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 time goes f flying, right? Yes, exactly. And that was I was really um, caught in your um, explanation. So thank you for that. Do you have one last word for our viewers and listeners? Well, I would love to to hear from them in this case you know wh wh why what is difficult for them where where did they, why is it difficult if that is difficult uh, for them to to build new habits uh, maybe questions they might have regarding that how to build consistency 
anything that they want to add to that to the topic you know, or which part of it because we you know that these are huge topics and we'll probably will keep adding to uh, to the topic on on you know in the next coming weeks but if you want to you want us to expand on one particular aspect of what we are talking about let us know uh, that way we can uh, prepare ourselves better and hopefully add more value to your life so yeah send us your comments we, i would love to 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 hear that that would be my my encouraging word for today <laughs> amazing thank you thank you Annie. so yes and thank you listeners and viewers for staying with us and see you next time See you next time. Bye.